I, I love my uncle. He's a pastor. He, he's a good man. You know, but uh, that happened to us at that concert. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. I've had things like that happen to me too. People DMC. Me stuff. Yeah. And DJ Run, right? So DMC, how's everything with DMC these days? I haven't seen good. him for a while. DMC got comic books. DMC is a genius. We all know that. Um, he designed the stuff for the Run DMC line, all those Run mm. DMC t-shirts that everybody got on these leather suits. Um, DMC is a genius. And um, we do a couple concerts a year. I just wait for D to say, yeah. Like, we get a lot of offers. But Daryl's like. I, th I always thought it was different. I, I always thought he had to wait for you to say, yeah. No, no, no. I wait on D to pick. So you, you would work all the time? I would work every day. But D has the price way up there. And D does 10 a year, maybe. Which is fine with me. He's doing a great job at his pick and choose. One in Brazil. I know what I know. I know. I know what it is. It's like, uh, do you grind and get to the bag and, and, and take the smaller bags to get to the bag? Or there's certain artists, say a Missy, um, that won't come out the house. She like DMC. She's like, yo, unless I get this number. So she prefers doing 10 shows for a large number rather than doing 50 shows that add up to the 10. Uh, when people ask for a run DMC show, I kind of laugh. I say, call D, you know. And then they'd be like, whoa, that's what y'all want. So the night, the night y'all saw uh, Brooklyn, uh, he agreed to that one. That was a big number. We played also for Jay-Z, uh, Made in America. Oh, yeah. We headlined Made in America on our night. Him and Beyonce was there, and, they, and it was lovely. But I kind of like it. You know, some of the managers get a little upset. Oh, man, we could have did 100 shows by now. But, you know, the number's right. The fun is right. Um, it's, it's stressful. I do a lot of DJing. A Run DMC show is stressful for me because I got Fat Joe. I got Flex. I got everybody looking if it's in New York. And I got I to gotta go crazy on the stage. I'm in the crowd. Now, oh, the rev was cursed. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm going crazy. I'm throwing my hands. I'm kicking my feet. I'm throwing mic stands because there's such an uh, expectation of what is Run DMC going to do and how, yeah. and, 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 and how long, man? You've been doing this 30-something years. Like, yes. how long could it be excellent? How long could it be, That's a you lot, know, and, and you got to go out there and you got to be the same 18-year-old kid you was now. People don't understand that. You paid for a Fat Joe show. I got to move up and down. My bones is hurting the next day. My bones is hurting. My knees, my arms. But I got to act like the Fat you Joe. Gotta, you got to. We know. came for it. We paid for it, Joe. I mean, here's my thing about you. you. You're doing a good job. You got a lot of hit records to be where you're at and to be putting them out hit after lean back after this. Bruce Willis dancing in the crowd and this and that. And it's like, it's unbelievable that you could still put out hits. And it's uh, it's almost unheard of. What about that? Because I remember- I got, one, I got one right now, right? I got one, I got one, I got a hit, a smoker I made ready. I'm, I'm going to drop it. It's, it's the soundtrack to the Big Big Show. I got one. Don't make me bring Khaled to certify this. No, no, you, no, 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 no. I believe it. Hey, I got a story for you. Now, this is crazy. We put out Down With The King. This is when you came out. And our second single, this is the greatest story from Fat Joe. This is a Jopra moment. Mm. This is a Jopra moment. Right now. So we put out Down With The King, it exploded. We were making our comeback, it was 92. And our second single was, Ooh, What You Gonna Do? And there's a new artist out called Fat Joe with, you gotta flow, Joe. And it was Battle of the Beat, and you Ooh. won. And I was calling, and I had all my friends calling, and I was like, I lost to this new artist named Fat Joe. And it came on, bust it, check it, this is so. And Ooh, What You Gonna Do? Second single off the Down with the King um, album, lost to this new New York dude named Fat Joe. That's no lie. Second single, and I sat there. This is my truth. In my house, going, I know. I, 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 how did he move to that guy? 
Right, I didn't. I, I like the song, but I'm run. I tell you something, right? You remember so, that battle? I remember that battle. Okay. I remember that battle. I was calling too. I was on Fordham Road, calling the one eight hundred two two three. So you was at your you house it, and I was a superstar at my house doing it. And that's no, you crazy. beyond a superstar. I'm gonna tell you something. But you I was, was new in high school. Calling notes. You only get out at night. I I performed that at my at my talent show in junior high. Uh, and everybody was coming up. You know how they do in the hood. Everybody's doing their dancing. Pains. And we just all love this culture together. And, and we're like an alma mater. Because we love hip-hop so much, it brings us all together as one. And um, that's amazing. Reverend Run, man, thank you so much. We love you, man. It's an honor. Uh to talk to you and conversate with you. Brooklyn Babe, what's up? Jesse Keg, what's up? Jen, what's up? Um, uh, Success Clothing, what's up? Um, Superstar Floors, what's up? And it's an honor to talk to legends like that. This week will be another big week. Um, we, we, what do you want me to do? I mean, Reverend Run tonight. Well, how beautiful, how delightful was that? And you picked up your phone and said, here comes this fat motherfucker again. Who, what are you going to do tonight? And Reverend Run came. How beautiful was that? When Reverend Run just came on. How refreshing. Was it to big up our icons and our legends? And so I had Mary J. Blige on my birthday. I didn't like interview her because she was calling to say happy birthday. But Mark Anthony was on, Mary J. was on, Stephanie Mills was on on my birthday. Keith Sweat through a concert. Keith Sweat was on here doing a concert. This is not normal shit. And you know, I used to be quiet. And, and people who just got on right now, y'all may look at it as like he's not really humble. That's not true. But if we don't speak about our greatness, nobody else is gonna tell it for you. So I want you to know, guys, I've been fighting for you to not bring you boring shit and to switch it up, but bring the people that you love. And people who deserve their flowers. You know what I say every night? We don't jam nobody up here. We're going to big up our legends, our icons. We're going to celebrate them. We don't want no clickbait. We don't want none of that. We do it with love and we win. We do it with love and we win. And if this COVID has taught you anything, it's taught you that Joe Crack's the real one. These guys wouldn't do what I do. Not just the show, but just the message and keeping it real and letting you know. Last Friday, who we had? Mayno. We had Jim Jones. The thing was called Rappers Are in Danger. And it's true. And so what we try to do is tell you about our faults and how we messed up in life and how we changed it around so we can motivate you, bro. So you can be inspired. And it's never based on jealousy. Kenny Burns, what's up, my brother? Kenny Burns, we got that uh, Pepsi Wild Cherry Challenge on Trilla, the app Trilla. Um, we're going, millions of people are going to judge some new artists, and then we're going to take that artist and give them a Pepsi Wild Cherry commercial. They're going to blow up after that. Uh, we got Mulatto. We got Kenny Burns, we got Mike Will, and myself. We're the dream team. And we're gonna pick a new star. And thank you to Pepsi Wild Cherry uh, for doing this for the community. And it's based out of Trilla. And uh, it's always somehow giving back. It's always based on pulling somebody up. It's always based on pushing the hip-hop culture forward. Spice Adams, what's up? 
Kenny Burns, what's up? Yo, Breon Prescott, what's up, Breon? Yo, Breon, I want to see you and my man, the actor. Y'all got to come on here one day and battle each other with the old R&B songs, man. I love that joint y'all be doing. Listen, everybody. Put God first. Believe in God. Trust God at all times. I'm not telling you nothing that I don't live by. I'm not telling you nothing that I don't believe to my last breath. Till my last breath, I will trust God and believe in God and be grateful for the opportunity and be grateful for you guys who have allowed me to live out my dream. We started this show on IG and the joint just keeps growing and growing and growing. Shout out to Revolt TV every Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern. Peace, y'all. It's Joe Crack, the Dawn, and I'm out. The big, big show. Mike.